Hello and welcome to the Cogros Analytics Coffee Shop Demos. In this series of videos, we're going to be analysing the performance of a fictitious chain of coffee shops by stepping into the shoes of key sales and marketing personnel. In this video, I'm going to take on the persona of a coffee shop regional manager using Cognos Analytics dashboards and reports to monitor store performance. As regional manager, I need to monitor our coffee shops across the country to help my store managers achieve excellent results. I need to know, how did our stores around the country do this week? Was there any variation by region? And which are the best and worst performing stores? I also need to equip my store managers with the performance information that they need to make their store successful. Each month, our data teams produce data on inventory, sales, customer loyalty and performance against our target. And this data team has used these data sources to create a curated and targeted data module for me to use. This has relative time, such as month to date, year to date for time series analysis, navigation paths and data groups for easy navigation of the data, and custom calculations for key KPIs. But having this model means I can therefore jump straight in to creating a dashboard. To start, I want to look at some very high level KPIs. I want to see how much have we sold in total this week? What was our weekly sales goal this week? And how many orders have we sold this week? As I add data to my dashboard, Cognos has assisted me by automatically choosing the best visualization to represent the data. In this example, it has chosen summaries for the KPIs, which is absolutely perfect for what I'm trying to achieve. I've also got some really powerful formatting options available to me and as you can see, orders has been abbreviated to 12K, but I'd like to see the exact amount. So I can very easily change the formatting and remove the abbreviation. Perfect. I can see we've got 11,954 orders. With this easy to read summarized view, I can already see that at a country level, we've already exceeded our weekly goal of 38,863. Now this is great news and I'll take a note of this to delve deeper to see which of our stores did well and which performed poorly. Now the last high level metric I'd like to add is spoilage expense. Now at a glance, this actually looks quite on the low side, but again, this is something that I can investigate on a store by store basis later. Okay, so now I've had a look at some high level metrics, I'd like to start exploring on a store by store basis. I said I needed to know whether there is any variation across the regions and whether there are any stores that are performing particularly well or particularly badly. I will start by asking the Cognos AI Assistant for my sales by store. This embedded AI Assistant helps you gain quick insights into your data and simplifies your analytics. It's a great starting point for AI and to start you can simply select help and it will suggest questions based on the context of the data. In this instance, I'm just going to ask it for my sales by store address because we're looking for a regional or geographical way of displaying the data. So as I type, Cognos has matched my search with the curated data model. And in a short while, it's going to produce a range of visualizations to answer my request. The AI assistant is incredibly powerful. And not only will it produce this range of visualizations, such as a column chart, bar chart, even a word cloud, but it will also create a dashboard straight from the chart using the terms of this search. So if I select create dashboard, you can see here it has created a fully formatted dashboard with lots of visualizations to select from. And I can simply pin any of these visualizations to my pins and use them at a later date. Okay, perfect. For this demonstration, I'm gonna go back to my original dashboard I'm going to go back to the AI Assistant and I'm going to use the original suggested visualization. I'm going to add this to the canvas. And as you can see, we've got a column for each store. And if I select a column, such as 30 Fenchurch Street, you can see that the high level KPIs are automatically connected and they change with the data. So let's add another level of analysis to our visualization. So let's look at stores or sales by day of the week. I can search here for day of the week. 
and I have a number of different options here. I can drag day of the week to one of the guided data slots such as colour, length, bars, or I can simply just drop it onto the canvas and allow the Cognos built-in smarts to determine a recommended visualisation that will help me represent this bit of data in the most appropriate way. In this instance, it's chosen a line chart for time series data. If you notice here how the smart title adapts with the data in the chart. However, I can easily switch this to a different visualization. I can select from a range of recommended visualizations, or I could just choose my visualization here. In this instance, I'm actually going to go for a stacked column. And as we can see here, we have a column for each day of the week with the stores represented by the different colors. Straight away, I can see a problem as my days of the week are sorted alphabetically. We actually did this on purpose so I could show you how simple it is to correct this by creating a custom sort. Now we could sort it alphabetically, we could sort it by calendar, but why don't we create a custom sort where the week starts on a Saturday? So I'll go Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you can see how easy it is to create a custom sort. Perfect. Okay, so let's go into focus mode and concentrate on the data on this chart. With lots of data represented on a single chart, it might be difficult to assess a store's individual performance by just looking. However, with Cognos's built-in smarts, it can help me gain insights with the click of a button. As I simply toggle on my insights, Cognos will show me the average daily sales for stores this week, as well as any meaningful differences. And these are explained to me in plain English. Here, it says the value of sales is most unusual when the combinations of day of the week and store address are Thursday at 30 Fenchurch Street, where there's unusually high sales, and then on Saturday at 5 Fountain Street, where there's unusually low sales. Again, this is something I'd like to investigate and perhaps Fenchurch Street are doing an offer that we could replicate in other stores to improve performance across the region. Now let's get out of focus mode and switch off insights. And the final chart that I'd like to add is a geographical view of my data. Now my objective was to see if there are any trends across the regions and if any particular cities are performing well or badly. I have a wide range of visualizations to choose from. In fact, 33 out of the box, from advanced analytical charts such as Sunburst or Spiral, to more visual charts such as Waterfall or Marameco. We also have the option to import custom visualizations and we support many different JavaScript custom visualizations such as D3, Chartist, Fusion Charts, Google Charts, High Charts, and you can see here a range of visualizations that I've already imported. For instance, we can import schematics, which are visual representations such as seating plans or stadium plans. And this one is a schematic of the coffee shop. We've got this Sankey custom visualization here. and We've even got the parliament building. In this instance, because we're looking for a geographical representation, I'm going to use one of the built-in map box map visualizations. And these are perfect for representing geographical data in a wide variety of ways. I showed that you could simply add data by dragging and dropping, but you can also easily search for data items in the guided data slots here. So let me search for latitude. You can see how easy it is to build up a visualization. Longitude, and let's size by sales. And to make this easier to read, let's add some color by sales as well. And there we have it. I can see here there's hot spots of sales in Manchester and in London too. To make the map easier to interpret, I can use the properties of the map to make the bubbles a cluster. And I can also change the heat palette. And if we go back to the properties of the chart, you can see we've got a wide range of different properties. And I can change the style to say something like bright. Okay, perfect. I think my dashboard is ready to be shared with the store managers to help them make their stores as successful as possible. In true Blue Peter style, I'm going to open this tab in view mode to one which I prepared earlier. 
As you can see, I've updated the colours to match our coffee chain's corporate branding and also added some images to make it more visually appealing. So let's have a look at how the dashboard may appeal to one of our store managers. A store manager can now access the dashboard at any time and immediately see an up-to-date high-level view of their store. However, sometimes they will need a more detailed information, for example, when planning promotions or looking at product inventory. To enable more detailed analysis, they can drill through from the dashboard to a detailed report which has been authored to their precise needs. On the report, the manager can view the location details of their store and their sales performance for the last four weeks against their target. They can also view a schematic diagram of their store which visualises table occupancy. We know that higher table occupancy leads to higher sales and we are currently trying to optimise this wherever possible. Can we encourage people to stay longer and buy more food and drink? For example, providing more power sockets near tables. At 30 Fenchurch Street, the corner table seems to have the higher occupancy, so the manager may need to assess why this is. On the next tab, we can view product performance and see the top and bottom performing products from each sales category alongside their sales this month. This will help managers prioritise products for promotions. And finally, we have the City Performance tab, which allows the managers to see how well they're doing in relation to other stores in their city. As well as viewing this report from the dashboard or on demand from the portal, the report can be bursted to its audience. This means the report can be authored once and then automatically scheduled to execute so that each manager receives their tailored version of it in their preferred format on a regular basis. So let's wrap up. A regional manager assessed the coffee chain's performance for this week and looked for geographical trends. They built a dashboard and reviewed a detailed report and shared this information with the managers who can access this information where and when they need to. So that brings me to the end of this short demo. For further information on Cognos Analytics, go to ibm.com slash Cognos.